Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to Fallout 4, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we made our way to Concord and also found our little dog companion here that I'm sure we're all aware of exists in this game. And uh, we met a guy named Pro. We, well, we didn't really meet him, but there was a guy up there on that balcony firing at a whole bunch of raiders down here. He told me to pick up this weapon right here, which I didn't show, but to reload it, basically. Actually, I'll show you right now. We'll go ahead and fire it, and then to uh, basically... How it works is if we fire again, it's not working. I'm hitting the right uh, trigger here. But what we need to do is press X as fast as we can, and then that reloads it, and now it's charged. So we're going to go ahead and go into Sneak and head into the Museum of Freedom and see what the hell is going on with these people. Okay, so we have some raiders. Actually, I didn't even know we could see them from here. Okay, so let's see if we can snipe him with this weapon. I don't think Vats is going to do us too much good. Alright, so we're already detected here, but it doesn't look like they're firing at me. Can we even hit them from here? I'm not sure what the range of this weapon is. It is a cool weapon, however, it is an energy weapon, which means we're not going to be using it for long. Although, I don't know, I really like the design of it. Okay, come on. There we go. It does also seem like a one-hit kill, then again, these are very early enemies. Okay, how did we just get hit? Who just shot us? I'm not too sure. Alright. So we need to get up there, though. So we have a bobby pin box here, which is a new item. We get uh, six Don't bobby pins. Okay, so it's random, because the last time I got five. Alright, let's see. I think we need to go over to the right here. And I think we'll go into sneak. You can hear some, like, American propaganda playing back to England with you. And there's a whole bunch of these red coats in here. I've already explored this area. So I can say with certainty that there's not really anything that we need to loot. That's really good when the dog grabs their legs because it, like, stunlocks them and you can basically just line up your shot. Okay. Let's search this paste or ash, I guess, would be a better word for that. Okay, we'll take all of that stuff. Yeah, this weapon re feels really nice. Like, you charge it up and then you fire it and it just feels really, really powerful. Usually it's a one-hit kill. Okay, let's see. Eh, there's not really a point to staying in stealth for the early game because they're just gonna notice me anyways. I'm not a coward, I just like sneaking. Okay, let's see. Back here we have this stuff though, which is really good whole bunch of stuff and we have some shotgun shells as well we can go downstairs I don't think there's anything oh there is definitely something yeah we want to open this luckily with that bobby pin box we should be able to do so there we go and inside of here is going to be a fusion core and there's also a computer terminal here and the hacking is pretty much the exact same as it was in Fallout 3 and New Vegas so we have this sort of deal again as well as all of the stuff that we can do to uh, remove the duds. The last time I did this one, it unlocked for me on the first try. Let's see if we're that lucky again. Something tells me we're not going to be. Let's try it though. Okay, likeness equals two. So that's a different phrasing. I guess that means two of the two of the letters in the right position. So let's see there. Uh, so it's not shows. It's not dice. It's not place, it's not spend, it's not grief, if I'm right in this. Okay, it's not that. So it's gotta be this one, this one's the closest one. Yeah, should be this one. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we can just unlock the security gate. I just wanted to do this, I knew it did that, I just wanted to do this to show you guys what that did. And also what's interesting is when you hack this sort of stuff and when you when you interact with things, it takes you out of sneak. It didn't do that before. Okay, let's grab all this stuff, even though I don't think we really need any of that, but there was some psycho in there in case we want to do some drugs. Okay, now the only place that we can go is upstairs. So let's ready our weapon. We're in caution now. We can also grab this stuff, but I don't do drugs. I don't even know why I grabbed that psycho. Yeah, there's not really anything in these rooms. Never mind, I totally forgot. There actually is. There's gonna be a couple raiders in here, and they were having a conversation, but they stopped. So this weapon doesn't seem to be that accurate, but we were able to kill him there. Oh, that's right, I totally forgot we had to reload. What am I doing? Die. Wow, really, dude? 
So this is the downside to this weapon, is if you miss, you are wide open for a counterattack. Let's take all that stuff. Don't worry, we'll run through all of this stuff um, once we're done with all of the conflict. Here we have America's Freedom Fighters. You can read that if you want. I've already read it. It's depicting that right there. Okay, we have an ammo box with some 10 millimeter rounds. Let's see, there was a raider that we killed over here. Let's take all his stuff. Music is ramping up, as you can probably tell. Okay, I do like the design of this weapon. I like how it's red. It almost seems like a special, unique weapon, but it's not. I just realized somewhere down the line I missed a Nuka-Cola machine, and inside was a Nuka-Cola cherry, which I've never seen before. Okay, we have raiders running all over the place. We're still in caution, though. That guy found me right as I shot at him, so we didn't get the sneak bonus. Okay. Your health is low. Use a stim pack, eat some food, or drink some water. We just got shot, and I did not realize we were going to be shot. So let's go ahead and... If we just go to the stat menu, you can see we can just press A. And that will activate a stim pack. They're not instant. Okay, this dude. Where did you come from? My god. Alright. Nothing in there that we want. Let's reload this and also loot this guy. Okay. Moving forward... We have a raider right here. Or we did. Let's see. Nothing over there. Loot this guy. We'll also loot the duffel bag that's under him. Very easy to miss. To throw a grenade or place mines, equip them in the Pip-Boy, then hold and release RB. This is not a raider, so we don't want to shoot them. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Minutemen? Uh, that ain't it. So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. Maybe. And I did, but things <sighs> nope. fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe. You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up God and damn it. live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, uh, make them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Huh. Could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But I do we too. can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. I already have it. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Alrighty, so 
You might have seen that bug there that I've seen a lot during the course of this game. There's a bug where like the subtitles will stop after like the first thing someone says and uh, basically the subtitles just don't work. Here we have a Robco Fun thing. You've collected an issue of Robco Fun includes the Atomic Command Holotape game. So we'll take that. I guess it's just a card. I'm not too sure. We also have a terminal that's locked. I'm not sure if that's going to make them angry. And Mama Murphy. Ma'am. Dog meat sure did find us some help. Just look at ya. So, he's your dog? Aw, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. So, um, I don't really want to go too much into this because I want to keep this quest moving because something really cool happens, but, uh, okay, looks like we're not going to be able to skip it too much without sounding like an asshole. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me, acting <laughs> a crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. Give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. Uh, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a radar. I'm tired now, and if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Wow, that is the slowest talker of all time, my god. So yes, the only reason I wanted to talk to her was to find out that our dog is actually dog meat. Okay, so um, yeah, we could have gone more in depth with Mama Murphy. Basically, she can see the future because she does a lot of chems. And here we have her first bottle, uh, bobblehead, the perception bobblehead. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. No, no, no. Kind of disappointing that they put it in like a area pretty much 90% of people are going to go to, but nevertheless, I want to get through this quest as quickly as pop. I, I don't want to get through it as quickly as possible, but I want to get to the specific part I'm thinking of in this episode. So we're going to move things along and we're not going to sneak. That's interesting. We can drop down there. I don't think we've explored down there. Kind of want to do that, but keep it moving for now. So let's go to this door right here, which is going to lead us to the Commonwealth. Commonwealth basically is Skyrim in terms of when you come to a door and it says Skyrim, you know you're exiting out to the overall world. Uh, that's what this is. So we should be heading out into the open area. Alrighty, so here we have the power armor and we can press A to enter it. We're gonna stick a fusion core in the back there. And, uh, yeah, now it has a fusion core. We can basically modify it, which is what this is. We can't actually take this stuff. Or maybe we can. No, we can take it, but we can't equip it. You can't equip power armor. You have to actually get inside like so. Okay, so this is what we look like now. And as you can see, our HUD has changed. To the left there is our health. Actually, we're definitely going to want to use a stim pack here. Maybe even two. Yeah, let's go with two. And you can see our health is going up now. Okay. We'll also take, not that, we have a log SSG Michael Daly. That just means sergeant. Uh, I should have pressed play there. So let's actually do that. Inventory, miscellaneous. There we go. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. 
This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America. Or what's left of it. Alright, so I wanted to wait till that was over because you can see... Number one, this minigun is doing work. It's just eating all these raiders up. What could possibly stop us? I mean, we're just an unstoppable force at the moment. I'll tell you what can stop us. This thing... Coming out of the ground... Right now. Yes. For a Fallout first, we have a death claw right at the start. Okay, and I've died actually like three times to this thing. And the main reason being is because I didn't realize you had to reload this minigun. I thought basically you just keep firing. And then I stopped, or I ran out of ammo. I had to reload. Oh, come on, reload. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so you can see it like ripped off our right cauldron or our left cauldron. So we need to kill it now basically before it can hit me again. Luckily, it looks like Preston had our back. But yeah, that's pretty much like the first boss fight or whatever you want to call it. Very, very, very cool. Surprised me. And also killed me a couple times when I first encountered it. Okay, so let's kill this guy and I think we're going to be done here. Let's go back and loot this death claw. Okay, let's loot this as well. There's a whole bunch of raiders over there that we can loot, but I think for now we'll just return to Preston. Hey there. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen. When we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Okay, fusion cells 50 and 100 bottle caps. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Spit it out, woman. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, 
It's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, well, we've completed that quest, pretty much the first side quest in the game. All of these people are going to be heading over to Sanctuary, our previous home. There's still a continued quest, and actually multiple ones dealing with these settlers. But, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to deal with them, or if we're just going to go ahead and move on and search for Diamond City. Nevertheless, I will figure it out by the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.